Hello, this is an update for my very old video at this point, like a year over a year or something, about the AI, NPC, whatever stuff. Um, I kind of took a break. I've been on and off of that here and there, but recently with the trend of like AI getting so popular, uh, I wanted to get back into it and really maybe change what I was doing to be something that is a little bit more, I don't know, interesting to me or fun. So what I ended up doing is I still have the original project, which I did actually make quite a bit of improvements to, uh, but we're not going to talk about that right now. Uh, this is a, another branch of that same project I'm working on. And what this is, is an AI VTuber. So it uses a lot of the back end, the same back end as my NPC video where you have this character, you can talk to them and they can talk back to you. But instead what this one is about is I focused on more of a Twitch chat integration, uh, some more movement and talking and features, as well as some kind of uh, general like rounding out using the new like chat GPT, GPT-4, as well as um, making it more robust and really getting an idea of how these APIs work. So right now here, you can see I have this character I made. Um, let me turn off the microphone input right now. I'm gonna hit play. So she'll just stand there right now, not doing too much. But the cool part is that when we go over here, I have a Twitch chat um, thing here. So this is just my old Twitch chat uh, thing. So automatically when you play it, it's connected to my Twitch directly and go, hey, how are you? And you send that, give it a second, she'll reply back. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How about you, Cascorp? Have you played Fate Hollow Ataraxia before? So, as you see, she said hello back. Um, she used my username on my Twitch, which was Cascorp. And she also asked me about playing a game. Uh, that's because right now she's set up so that she's playing a certain game. Because my eventual goal is to have her at least kind of slightly automate playing games or I can play the game and she can do all the commentary for me just for fun. Right here, the current game is Fate Hollow Ataraxia, which is a visual novel. <clears throat> I had a fun idea where, you know, we have these visual novels, and of course there's such things as audiobooks, where, you know, you just have someone that reads you the novel. Uh, but visual novels are kind of cool, because there's a visual element to it as a visual novel. Uh, but on top of that, I think it would be really fun. So what I have set up is we have this visual novel, um, Fate Hollow Ataraxia. And what I actually have her set up to do now, um, I'm working on it still, but the basis is still there, where uh, I can actually ask her to read what's on the screen. She will look at this window I have, and she, not only will she read just this text here, uh, but she will also understand what she read and actually um, like properly um, explain it. So... Let me get my phone quick and I'm going to go to my Twitch and message and say, um, can you read what's I'm really enjoying this game screen? so far. The storyline oh. is very engaging also, and the characters she are talks really by herself sometimes. Have any of you in the chat played this game before? Okay. So I'm going to ask her, can you read what's on screen? It must be the sun. I feel a bit dizzy. Since it's rare to meet Saber at the harbor, I ended up pondering about hometowns and things completely outside of my character. How Ataraxia. Okay, there you go. So now she actually read what was on there. Oh, there's a little bit at the end I, I missed, which is this, but she got the main part and that's good. So the cool thing about this is we can actually ask her now and ask it in the Twitch chat and say, can you explain what you just read? So I can go over here and do, can you explain uh, what you were just reading on the game? Sure. 
The text that you just saw is a line from the game Faith Hollow Ataraxia. The main character is thinking out loud about feeling dizzy due to the sun and how he ended up thinking about things outside of his character while meeting Saber at the harbor. It's a moment where the character is experiencing a bit of a mental break due to the situation he finds himself in, and it's interesting to see how he reacts to it. There you go. So she also uh, explained an interpretation of how you take the scene. And the cool thing is I can keep having her read it and it'll go through and build up more context for her to use. This game has a lot of moments like this where the characters are introspective and have deep thoughts about their situation and themselves. More about yourself. It's so, one of the things I really yeah. love about this game. Have any of you... We're going to pause her. Um, yeah, so that's what I have right now. Um, it's not too much more if you look at the previous video, but I think it's really interesting. Um, the way she does the image, it does it all like image recognition AI. Uh, that uses more cognitive services from the Microsoft stuff. Um, yeah, uh, my plan is eventually for her to be able to kind of sit and read through these visual novels on her own, like completely independently, uh, which would be really cool. Uh, it's a lot of like specific programming for certain scenarios, but my goal with this is to make it as general as possible. Uh, and eventually it would be fun to maybe like let Twitch chat play a game and then she can talk about what they're doing and do all that stuff for me. Basically, I'd like this to be automated in a way where it's not super boring. It's still interactive. Um, and, you know, she has a, an awareness of some degree of what's going on. So, yeah, that's all I have right now. Um, I will try to make more of these videos. I have some other things that I'm gonna work on and make videos about as well related to programming and maybe some more 3D modeling. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be run more often. So keep an eye out. Tell me what you want me to show. Uh, tell me if you want me to try some stuff out. Um, unfortunately, I can't make this a public repo because there are paid assets and such in here. I could make parts of the code available maybe uh, I'll probably set up a um, Patreon or have it uh, available on my Discord subscription. So if you're interested, you can go check that out. So uh, thank you very much, and I'll talk to you next time.